Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Sleepless Ninja. Today, let's look at Honeycomb 3.1. There are a lot of exciting features. We have improved browser, we have improved flash, we have the ability to now use a mouse, either Bluetooth or wired. That's right, we have a, now a pointer on the Zoom. It's really incredible. And you can also hook up a wired keyboard if you want. You can hook your camera up, upload pictures. It, a gamepad, PlayStation, Xbox, wire controllers, you can now use them. Really, really exciting things that were added. And let's uh, just do a brief overview of all of it and kind of show you what it's all about. So first, some of the less exciting, let's take a look at the browser. So everything loads faster. Normally, if you were to scan up and down, sorry, lost traction. Normally, if you were to scan up and down, it take a second for the page to kind of load, but you can see it's much more faster in the loading and in the transitions. They also updated this quick navigation. I love the new quick navigation. You have, you know, almost the same, but you have um, with the additions of removing tabs, adding tabs, quick ser searching through your tabs. That's really cool. So let's add another tab, and we'll go to the standard IGN. Right now I'm hooked up to my keyboard, you know, it, with, the, with the addition of the mouse, this is a very nice um, way to use your zoom in a very uh, hands-off experience. You can still use the screen and touch it when you need to, but there's something about the keyboard and the mouse that is sometimes necessary, and the fact that we have that feature, why not take advantage of it? You can see now the slideshow at IGN, if you looked at previous videos that I've done, it was a little bit choppy on the sliding, but they have improved with the HTML5, the CSS, and their JavaScript. So everything is much, much smoother. Pages render much more um, beautifully, and everything seems to, to be fixed with that staggering. Um, of course, I haven't used it heavily, so take what I'm saying with a grain of salt. Um, also, um, a lot of people are saying the flash is running much much smoother I haven't really fully tested it out I'm using the the TV light or the TV live and that is flash videos and it's been running great but it was running great before the update so um, but supposedly 720p flash is running phenomenally now on the zoom but I just wanted to briefly kind of touch on this because there are a couple of features and I wanted to touch on everything. But again, look, you can quickly pan through visually on your websites on the screen. It's just really, they've, this is a really, really cool way to m navigate in a browser. It, it was, it's just wonderfully thought of. And I always get this, so I'm going to show you if you go to settings. and you go to labs, it's right there, it's called quick control. Check it out. Okay, so we looked at the browser, now let's look at a couple other exciting features. I am going to hook a mouse in. Now I have the, the a Bluetooth uh, keyboard, and you can hook up a Bluetooth mouse for simultaneous, but I just want to show you that um, the mouse actually works. I have a video that, that actually shows how to make a cable. This is my self-made cable. And I'm going to plug it in. Mouse turns on. Here we go. And now I'm going to turn off the lights and let's take a look at this. So you can see, there we go. Here's our cursor. It's a little bit choppy, but half of it's because of the, the texture of the desks that I'm on but r regardless it is still a, a little choppy but navigating with the mouse is really 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 cool and let's this is you know this this dashboard is customized for, for the touch so let's go to somewhere where it's not so bad I use the scroll re scroll scroll wheel to pan between the different um, dock board docks and you can see here you can use the mouse to pan through or I can use the wheel to scroll up and down very very cool on a side note if you hit to the top of the bottom of this of the the scrolling you will actually scroll off the screen so that's kind of annoying but 
it loses its focus once you reach the maximum of the minima when it comes to scrolling and then you just go off the, the dock but besides that it's really really nice and um, resizable widgets also in 3.1 so you can see that this was much bigger no it's not because I was using a launcher um, Pro it was actually because 3.1 now supports this so it's very very cool to be able to customize your widgets um, to be able to go through your mail look scroll through click on the mail that you like and interact with it reply then to hop on the keyboard it truly is just an amazing addition and think about it this has just been out for a couple months and it's already doing things that a certain other thing can't not pointing fingers anywhere though um, but I, I, I am very 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 happy um, with the mouse and it, it's a very very welcome addition so there's more we had a couple of things that you can do with this USB host so let's pull it out let's connect the next thing so I have my camera here now if your camera supports um, P2P, PTP, peer-to-peer -peer, I believe is what it stands for um, of course that could be a different um, I mean that's a term for something else so it might not necessarily mean this for this device so excuse me if I'm wrong I'm gonna hook up my camera wire and I'm gonna plug in the camera alright turn off the light so let's uh, let's go to my gallery so one of the cool things is you can actually use the gallery app to upload pictures it's uh, really really cool so um, all you have to do is press um, and you can see right now even though the camera's connected it's actually uh, it's actually not seeing it so make sure on your camera and it's different for everyone but you want it to be on P2P right before it was on normal now and which works perfectly great on PCs and Macs but we want to be on P2P when this protocol is enabled the zoom will see the camera and we might have to back out and then jump back in sorry about that took me a little time to realize that I actually needed my camera to be plugged in in order for uh, this to work but you can see now um, on the top left my camera in the P2P mode once it was plugged in that's just the thing with my camera um, you can touch to import you can see here are all the pictures that I have on my camera it selects them all by default but if I want I can deselect them all I can view them individually and then if you hold down you can start the selection mode and let's see I wanna select all of these let's import and now it's just importing every single picture we'll fast forward through this of course And there we go. Here is in the imported uh, album. You can see if I go back, it shows up here under imported. Very cool. And uh, you know, from here, you can select that, share it, put it up on your favorite pictures 
site and now you can now manage and upload your photos and view them all right from your Zoom. I, I love the Zoom for managing with photos. You know, uploading it to my Picasa and it syncs to all my Google devices or my PC or my Mac and then hooking the Zoom up to the TV for family events and just playing through all family photos. It's just a really, really cool tool for that. And the fact that now you can hook your camera up to your Zoom just is like really nice icing on the cake. So that's about every feature. There's also the uh, the new quick um, app. It's now extended to handle many, many, many more apps and it's much, much smoother transition and I love it. So, it, you know, it's you can think of it as the, you know, your bottom taskbar and all your open applications on your Windows computer, except it's just a very nice way on a touch screen to not take up that much real estate to quickly transition to your previous um, opened apps. Overall, this Honeycomb update is pretty spectacular. Yes, there is no SD card as of yet. Um, I personally am using, this is a, a, a rooted version um, from Big Dog Rush. Awesome, has SD card support, so I have no complaints right now. Um, what other device can do this besides a, a, a Windows um, tablet? There, it's you know to have this type of really smooth running operating system. It's just much much finely tuned than before. They fixed that hard drive bug that I have a prior post on with this. I can't confirm it. It hasn't happened yet. Um, it's it's a great a great addition, and you definitely should check it out. Um, I have a guide on how to for rooted users on how to upgrade to a rooted version um, without losing root. And uh, if you have any other questions, I don't have a wired um, PlayStation or Xbox controller, so I couldn't demo that today. If I get my hands on one, I'll definitely show you. Um, but, you know, I'm very happy with my Bluetooth um, Wii mote for all of my gaming. All right, thank you so much, everyone. I hope this uh, helped let you get a taste of what 3.1 brings a very uh, wonderful little uh, patch and uh, have a great day